blessed summer solstice. Hello, hello. How is everyone? I hope everyone has had a great summer solstice so far. Um, I am on a little bit early because I'm going to be a little bit slower than I assumed I would be. I had to uh, switch my entire ritual around um, about uh, two and a half hours ago or something, uh, maybe three, I don't know, about two and a half hours ago, I think, I uh, threw my back out. You know, climbing the stair here, you know, because heaven forbid I climb a stair at my age, apparently. Um, so my ritual has changed and it's going to be slower than I expected it to be. Hi, Hax. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jewel. Um, so I start, I figured I would start a little bit early to uh, just explain that so that everybody knows what um, is going on. Not that I posted my ritual ahead of time or anything, because I didn't. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful summer solstice, midsummer. You too. Stairs are evil. It's a beautiful midsummer here, uh, summer solstice, Litha in New York. It is a little too warm for my liking. It's about 85, I think, right now. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Hexen made me my crown. I'm trying to take your back out. I know it. Damn thing. Um, Hexen made me my crown, which it goes wonderfully with my little summer solstice dress. See, I have little flowers on it and stuff. And if you hear when I walk, I have my Morris bells on too, because that's a great tradition for midsummer in Litha. Um, the altar is all set. I have uh, started the candles. I had a tonsillectomy something. Hold on. Oh, so much pain. Ooh, lots of... Uh, I don't even recommend ice cream because I think it builds phlegm, but sorbet or um, Italian ice, that kind of stuff is good. Um, so the, the altar is set. Um, I, for once, I did not cast the circle before we started because um, I thought, you know, since I'm going to be going back towards the beginning, kind of, I figured I would um, let you guys see. Usually I cast the circle before um, I start the ritual, so that's all done by the time that um, that we go live. But I figured I'd, I'd begin the process at the beginning and let you guys see the beginning of the, um, the circle process. Um, I'm... I'm so excited that it is midsummer, that Litha is here, that 97. Thank you, Laura. Hexen, of course, made it for me. Yes, he did. He was selling them on his live. Love it. Uh, I'm so excited because I love the warmer weather is great. Um, I'm going to be making a, um, a great space out here for... Uh, for myself to um, make beginner videos again. So, um, yay. All right, let's begin um, by, I'll show you kind of a little bit of what we're gonna do. Hi, Joe. Uh-oh, my glasses are way at the other end of the altar. Here, before we start, I will show you. Um, first of all, I'm gonna be working out of this book. Um, I had a different ritual all planned out, like I said, but I threw my back out about three hours ago. Um, and I was going to bring the Fae into this ritual a lot. And um, because it was a, more extensive and there was like some dancing and stuff, that I cannot do that ritual. So uh, I just kind of looked through and let spirit kind of guide me. And I found one that I think is really appropriate and really nice for today. I did use the lantern. Of course I did that I got from Joe. All right. So let's, um, I'll take a tour of the altar here so of course I have my sun in the middle I have um, my uh, summer besom which has uh, strawberries on it I cleanse the space before I start and then the besom stays in the circle until it's all done I have my cauldron is starting Peter can't yell at you now exactly I'm using it I have my summer solstice um, incense and I even remembered to start the charcoal ahead of time can you believe it like holy crap what the hell is wrong with me that I remembered that 
I have no idea, but I did. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, so the left-hand side for me is the goddess, and the fae are on this side of the altar. Um, we have lavender and palo santo that's going to kind of work into our ritual, you'll see. Uh, we have the fae offerings, which will uh, happen eventually. We have the representation for the fae, the representation for the goddess. The um, cakes and ale, this time uh, I made homemade lavender lemonade. And um, it is blueberry honey cakes. Uh, and then we have like sunflower candles and suns, sun, sun, suns. Uh, the bees are a very important part of midsummer. Uh, this was actually a flower when we started, but boy, that burned fast. My three skulls that are uh, represented here. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you guys. I had such an amazing dinner. I gave Peter some recipes for midsummer and he made um, goat cheese garlic, goat cheese, and chicken um, pasta, oh, which is so good, and then maple glazed carrots, which is so good, and I made a homemade sorbet, fruit sorbet, for uh, after that I put in the freezer with um, blueberries, bananas, strawberries, raspberries, almond milk, orange juice, and whipped it all up and put them into little cups and put them in the freezer. So yay, which we're going to have after. Uh, I have several little sun boxes out. This one is for the Fae. This one is uh, a particular intention that I have uh, working for the Horned God, or Belios. We're going to be calling him Belios this time. We have dragonflies. We have lots of flowers. We have the salt and water, which we're going to start with. The uh, Green Man mug, which, yay, which I got from Hexen. My uh, wood candle, the God candle. Then we have the, hi Gemini, the um, fairy lamps, which uh, have candles in them that will represent the uh, elements. So north, east, west, and or, <laughs> south, and west. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so that is the altar, um, and we kind of are ready to go. I'm going to start with, like I said, I, I'm going to start this time with uh, the blessing and the circle casting, which I normally kind of do before we come on. But I thought since we're starting from the beginning um, and doing some beginner videos again and kind of looking at um, what I haven't done before, um, we'd start from the very beginning and cleansing the altar and stuff. So I'm going to be doing it from this book. This is the new Llewellyn series for Midsummer. <sighs> okay, so we have salt and water. When I use water uh, on the altar, I always use distilled water because uh, it, it gets rid of all the impurities. I don't use tap water for um, this. If I had like a running river nearby, I, could, I would use river water or creek water. That kind of thing is fine too. Um, and if you don't have any of that, tap water is okay. It's just I try to keep it as pure as I can. All right. So we are going to put some of the salt into the water here. Salt into water, water into salt. Wash away all that is negative and impure, leaving only that which is positive and beneficial. <sighs> and so when we do that, we're doing that with lots of intention, right? Purity, washing away negativity, that kind of thing. Um, and then you're going to anoint yourself with that purifying water in a pentacle, in a pentacle, over your heart, in a pentacle, and then I do feet also because I want my um, feet wherever I go to be purified and cleansed and, and cleansed of negativity. Um, love those glasses. Thank you, Dollar Tree. You know, I, thrifty stuff. You guys who have known me for a long time, I started out thrifty witch, right? Okay, so all of you, if you don't have salt or anything in front of you, just kind of cleanse yourself however you um, feel you can. You can take a deep breath in and try to let all the negativity drain from you. If you have Palo or Sage, you can quickly do a Palo or Sage kind of thing. Ah. 
Uh, we're gonna um, now walk the perimeter and I'm gonna take my besom and walk the perimeter and cleanse the perimeter of the besom. As I go, I will be saying this. I cast the circle round and round from earth to sky, from sky to ground. I conjure now the sacred place outside of time, outside of space. The circle is cast, we are between the worlds. And I do three passes. Um, threes uh, are sacred. So Maiden Mother Crone, uh, the cycles that all come in threes. So I, I do three passes. So here we go, I start in the north. Cast the circle. between worlds. I cast the circle round and round, from earth to sky, from sky to ground. I conjure now this sacred space. Outside of time, outside of space, the circle is cast. I cast the circle, last time, three times. I cast the circle round and round, from earth to sky, from sky to ground. I conjure now this sacred space. Outside of time, outside of space, the circle is cast. We are between the worlds. Blessed be. Okay, so the circle is now cast. We are ready to call the quarters. So the next part of ritual is we are going to call the quarters in, which is each of the directions. And those that will come in from each of the directions will help us with ritual. Ooh, let me lift this a little bit so you don't look at my belly the whole time. Okay. And, oh, here it is. Okay, we're going to start in the east. And the east candle is here. I'll be lighting that candle. My lovely trailer. Okay, I call the guardians of the east, the powers of air, Ooh, my powers, to come to the circle, bringing refreshing summer breezes and clarity of thought. And we light the east candle. We are going to go to the south. You guys bear with me. Like I said, I, I did throw my back out. So, bear with me. I call the guardians of the south the power of fire to come to this circle, bringing warm sunlight and the spirit of love. I think the spirit of love is really important on midsummer. There's lots of love in the air. The Fey have a lot to do with that too. We're going to go to the west. I call the guardians of the west, the power of water, to come to this circle, bringing life-giving rains and healing energy. Yes, we're going to finish in the north. I call the guardians of the north, the power of earth, to come to this circle and ground us for the magical work ahead. Ooh, so important to be grounded. So before we continue, because we are learning, learning, learning all the time, if we're not grounded, and you have you ever tried to do magical workings without being grounded? Anybody know what happens? It can go awry. Um, sometimes we are flighty. We are thinking of other things. We are not paying attention. We are not. Um, focused on what we're doing all the extra energy that we have just see this that we have now conjured in this circle whoo kind of flows out and makes things go awry a bit so we want to make sure that we're we're grounding okay next we are going to call the goddess 
I call thee Brigitte, triple goddess who rules over the hearth and healing and inspiration. Share your gifts with us on this summer solstice day and guide us with your gentle wisdom. Let your light warm our hearts and brighten our spirits. So mote it be. So mote it be. And we light the goddess candle. as soon as I said that. Whew. Okay. And finally, the god, who uh, this time we are calling on Belenos, who is the sun god. I call thee Belenos, god of the sun, whose powerful rays bring healing and strength. Share your gifts with us on the summer solstice day and empower us with your energy. Let your light warm our hearts and brighten our spirits. So mote it be. Mode it be. Whew. Power, power, power. Okay. So, I'm going to sit again. I, I threw my back out, guys. I'm sitting more than I normally would. I'm going to try to face you to the altar here, though. Good. Okay. We gather together to celebrate midsummer, summer solstice. This is the longest day of the year, and I hope you've been out enjoying it a little bit anyways. With the most light, and the sun is at its height of power and energy. After today, we move slowly into the dark time, with a little less light and a little more darkness every day. So, it always has been, and so it always will be. For this is the wheel of the year, always turning, bringing us opportunities for change and growth. And that change in growth, not always easy, right? If any of you are like me, that change in growth has been kicking our ass lately. But we have to remember that change is not easy. There's a reason for it, though. We just have to hang in there. It, it's the, the, the way will be coming. The light will be shining. The sun god is a healing god, and the earth goddess heals us as well. Today, we will tap into that healing power and use it to help us let go of whatever ails us, physically, mentally, or spiritually, so that we will be free to take in the sun's energy and use it to bring abundance into our lives. Yes, 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 and may I say yes. Beautiful, okay. We're gonna go down here because we are gonna deal with the lavender, which is way down here, and you're gonna be looking at here, I kind of want you to look at the table anyways. Okay, you're going to be looking at the table. I'm going to move my vessel over here. Still within the circle, though. All right, here we go. So, here I have some lavender in a dish, and I have added Palo Santo. Palo Santo, for me, lately has been super powerful, and I really need the Palo Santo. Ooh, yeah, we're not going to look at my belly the whole time. We're not doing that. It's bad enough that you're going to look up at me because you get to see my eight chins. But, yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Actually, I could do this. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there. And I'll be off camera, and you can not stare at the ceiling either. You can stare at the pretty altar stuff and the lavender. There. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> Lavender is one of the most healing herbs there is, sacred to the midsummer gods. In some cultures, it is customary to throw lavender into the fire. Now, we want to keep our fire going, so I'm going to put some more of our summer solstice incense on there. You'll see it start to smoke. Hello, hello. Whew. In some cultures, it is customary to throw lavender into the fire as an offering to the god and goddess. As we go around the circle, all of us will symbolically take some of the lavender and put it into the fire as an offering to the god and goddess. Each one will toss a handful of the lavender in. So I'm going to toss at least one piece of lavender for all of you in because there's plenty here. 
casting whatever needs to be healed into the cleansing flames of the fire as we do so. So think of what needs to be healed in your life. What is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you cannot hang on to anymore? What is it that is no longer serving you? What is it that is transitioning and you've just been hanging on to it so that it does not um, go away? What is it that you just need to let go of? You need to allow the healing process to begin. That is what this lavender is going to mean. So think of that, hold it in your heart, hold space for it, and then we are going to put the lavender into the fire. <sighs> Here we go. Everybody have something you need to be healed from, right? Transition. Lots of intentions there. Keep it going. Yes. Good, good, good. Love it. I'm also going to light the Palo Santo. Because for me, the Palo has been super important. And I have really, really needed that extra negativity and healing energy of Palo. So I am going to light that up and just drop that into our cauldron also. I love having a bigger cauldron for just this reason. Because I don't care if it catches on fire and stays on fire, right? <sighs> yes. Love it. All right. Cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. Love it. Now we are free to receive the solstice's blessings of energy, abundance, and joy. You are going to take a flower from home, take a flower from your garden, or symbolically take one of the flowers that I have on my altar and hold it in your hand. Symbolically hold that flower in your hand. Boy, that's ugly. Yeah, we're going to come back over here. Here we go. Sorry to keep you moving all over, guys. There we go. All right. Symbolically hold that flower in your hand. Did you pick one for my altar? Or pick one from home? You can hold it in your hand if you, if you have one from home. That's okay. <sighs> Here we go. We're going to focus on taking in the energy as you listen to what I'm saying. Focus on the symbolic flower in your hand or the real flower that you're going to go out and, and pick later or the flower you're gonna take from your table. Close your eyes if you want to or focus them on the flower in your hand. The summer days are filled with light and beauty and we can take in that light, take in that beauty and make it part of ourselves. Feel the warmth of the sun overhead The sun's power is at its peak, and there is more than enough to share with us. Feel the energy of the sun coming in at the top of your head, flowing down through you, over your head, neck, and shoulders. Feel it flowing down over your arms like a caress, down your back like a gentle massage. Feel the power and energy of the sun recharging your own center of energy in your core, recharging just like a battery. That sun, Ooh, can you see it? Like I can see the, the, the battery charger light going up, ding, 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 recharging us. Recharging our own center of energy in your core, filling it with everything you need to live each day of the summer to its fullest. I don't know about you, but I haven't even started living this, this summer to its fullest. I have so much more that I need to do. I need to get up off my butt and do it. So let this recharge me. Let it flow down your legs, through your fingers and toes, making them tingle with warmth and light and power 
Imagine your body filled with that light so that it spills out into the circle around you and see the entire circle glowing with light and energy, moving from person to person, picking up love and joy on its journey and passing it around until everyone within this sacred space is filled to the overflowing with power and energy and glory that is the summer sun. Hold your flower to your heart then raise it to the sun with a heartfelt thank you and huzzah. Thank you and huzzah. Now, if you were not able to have a flower in front of you, take some lavender, if you have lavender at home, take uh, some lavender essential oil and rub some on you and a flower in front of you or a piece of grass or a clover from your yard Take that in front of you and allow that sun's energy that has seeped into that to recharge you. We all need that recharge, right? And it's enough to recharge us through the rest of the summer, through the rest of the summer, today's energy. All right. <sighs> Do you feel it? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. A little bit. Okay. We're going to do some cakes and ale. Put the salt down below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back, back, back. Damn stare. All right, cakes and ale. Here we go. We give thanks for these cakes, the gift of the earth and share them with each other with open hearts. May our lives be as sweet as the fruit in this cup. Mm. Blessed be. May our lives be as sweet as the fruit in this cup. Blessed be. Hello, hello. Lavender lemonade. Mm -mm. Let us thank the gods and goddess for their gifts of healing energy. Thank you, Bellinos. Thank you, Brigid. Thank you, Bellinos. Thank you, Brigid. <sighs> yes, Bellinos and Brigid. We're going to take a minute before we continue because we're nearing the end already. It goes so fast, doesn't it? I want to take just a minute and I am going to focus a little bit on the altar and I'm going to focus a little bit on the summer sky. So just take a minute and feel those batteries recharging. Thank you, Bellinos. I know, I know, the cup is on the wrong side. Ooh, gods are picky. <laughs> Thank you, Bellinos. Aw. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. The sun, the sun, the sun. The growing plants, the fae, which are here with us, and I have special offerings for them that will go out tonight. <clears throat> Thank you, Brigid. <coughs> Thank you, Brigid.
recharging your energy, right? Charge your batteries. Let this recharge what you need to recharge the whole summer. You can do that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Okay. Making roast chicken and summer veggies. Yay! Oh, I love it. We had such a great solstice dinner. I'm, I'm excited for dessert. Fresh sorbet. All right, now where did I put my glasses? Oh, back here. The bugs are starting to come out, people. And I did not use my own bug spray. That was silly. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Balanos. Thank you, Brigitte. All right, we're going to start at the north and release our elements. I thank you, the element of earth, for guarding our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. So mote it be. So mote it be. I'm going to come over to water. I thank you, water, for guarding our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. So mote it be. So far so good, I don't have to lean over too far. Yay. We're gonna go over to fire. I thank you, fire, for guarding our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust, so mote it be. I knew fire was gonna give me a hard time. Took three times. I am an air person and fire is like, hell no. Okay, one more. I thank you, air, for guarding our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust, so mote it be. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> I can't bend down enough. <laughs> All right, that was horrible, <laughs> so mote it be. Woo, okay. I'm going to pass out in the middle of my ritual. <laughs> we thank the God and the goddess for their healing gifts of energy. We allow them to go on their way if they want. They are welcome to stay. So mote it be. God is like, fuck you. <laughs> You're not letting me go. <clears throat> Bend it over. Hold that back. And thank you, Goddess Brigid, for guarding our circle. You are welcome to stay if you must leave. If you are so mode B. <clears throat> so mode B. Okay, the circle is open, but never broken. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. That's my daddy. Oh, he's hiding behind the door. <laughs> All right, guys, so, yay. Blessed summer solstice. Let this be a renewal, a battery charging for the rest of your summer. Um, remember to be kind to yourself. If you are going through transition like many, many of us are, Mikey says, hi, Grandpa Squirrel. <laughs> like many of us are, then be kind to yourself. It is not, transition is never easy. So it's not gonna be easy. We're gonna be angry and cranky and crying and you know, all the good stuff that goes with transition. So be nice to yourself. Drink lots of water. All right, guys, I love you so much. Click the like button on your way out. I missed you guys. I'm so glad to um, be back more onto YouTube and we'll see you more coming up. I love you. <laughs>